I am so, so happy that you two are together because you guys make each other so happy and you two love each other so much. And I'm trying not to cry and I'm doing my best, but you two are amazing and I love you both. So how fitting that 10 years ago, while we aimlessly, but respectfully, flirted with each other on opposite sides of a bar, that we'd be officially vowing in front of our closest friends and family to love, support, and aimlessly flirt with each other forever. And there's a bar in the room. Billy, that was the first name I ever called you. The name that belongs to the early memories that I will always have of you. The cute guy that worked at Avenue Tavern. The phrase, I could marry that girl, started as internal dialogue, moved to a joke amongst these knuckleheads over here, and very quickly morphed into a statement backed with confidence and purpose, and that is, I will marry that girl. Billy makes me think of that extra big smile you gave me when I walked through the doors. It makes me think of endless hours of flirting. It makes me think of the first text to my friends, so I'm finally going on a date with Billy from the bar. It makes me think of our early, carefree days spent laughing so hard we couldn't breathe. Allie, I struck gold when you walked through that front door, the first time that we met. We've joked about the instant connection we felt with each other years ago, but honestly, it's true. You don't feel that every day, and it's always the answer to the question that people ask me, how did you know that she was the one? Since the day Allie was born, she's been full of joy, and in every relationship, she leads with love. Quite literally, she brings happiness to everyone in her life. From being an amazing sister, a phenomenal aunt, and a best friend to so many lucky people, you're guaranteed to walk away from any encounter a better person. Back in 2011, Allison, through divine intervention and the need for a cold beer and some football, <laughs> went down to a fine establishment, stumbled on this guy, and uh, that worked out pretty well for him. It was a classic fight, though. It was predator and prey, with each of them arguing about which role they played. <laughs> the final event, they were both hooked and landed. Bill. <laughs> this is the name I said when I first told you I loved you, on that gross little bench inside of Janzi Burrito Shop. <laughs> this is the name of the man that would become my everything. My protector, my endless well of happiness and joy, my partner in puppyhood, <laughs> my safe space. Bill is the name I used when I introduced you to my family, where they all spent about five minutes and thought, finally, she's met the guy. And this is the name I will say to you today, as you become my husband and I vow to become your wife. You are my biggest cheerleader. You might ride or die. You might never feel the opposite. You never take a moment for granted. I don't know how you do it, but your relentless optimism for life is a goal that I strive for every day. You have dreams for our life together that make me want to reach for them even when sometimes they don't seem reachable to me. I see it like this. Where I come from, in Sheridan, Wyoming, there are two beautiful rivers, and they come down off the mountains. They come through the canyons. They go through some of the most gorgeous ranch land you've ever seen. And they come together to be one beautiful, powerful stream, a stream of nurturing and love, much like what Allie and Bill are doing, coming together as one powerful force, nurturing us, nurturing each other, loving us. Wow, I love it. Do you? It's so beautiful. Hi, babe. Hi. Give you me look a hug. great. You look great, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everything looks great. Thanks.
You are such a supportive human. You're my biggest fan, and I always know that you will be there for me when I need you. You are full of love, not only for me and Addie, but for your friends and family as well. You cannot question how much you would love a child. You make me a better person because of those things. So that being said, I vow to be loyal and faithful to you for the rest of my life. I vow to laugh with you as much as we possibly can until our last breath. You know the kind, not the laughs we have with everyone else. The ones we only share together because our walls are completely down. The ones we have in the car when you're lip singing or I'm getting hit in the face with a bee at 80 miles an hour. The ones we have in our apartment together where one of us quite literally ends up on the floor rolling around like a fool. The ones that come after we've co-written what we're certain is our best song yet, which we then dedicate and sing to our golden eagle. I promise to have no regrets, nothing left on the table from all in. From this day forward, you will never walk alone. We say it all the time because it's true, but let's do it officially. You are my best friend. You are my person. I love you. You got this. I pronounce you husband and wife. Bill, you may kiss the bride. I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it is my great honor to be the first to introduce to you our newly minted power couple, Mr. and Mrs. William Karkula. You were the absolute perfect match for Allie. Your wittiness, thoughtfulness, and desire to protect our sister does not go unnoticed. We're happy to share our baby sister with you, but remember she was ours first. Allie, you have a beautiful way of touching everyone around you with your bright smile, your quick wit, and genuine heart. In our 15 years of friendship, you've always been someone I've admired, still do, and always will. Your love for one another is undeniable. You make each other laugh, you are kind to one another, and you take amazing care of each other. From the start, you guys just made each other so happy. And Bill was miserable. And you guys all know how miserable and irritable Bill Karkula can be. He spoke about her and how much he just loved to laugh and cook. And he was talking about things that he had never spoken to me about. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. Oh, I think I'm gonna do this. And then I'm like, who the hell are you? You're not supposed to be this happy. <laughs> She wandered into a bar one night and was fortunate enough to meet her forever man. They took their time getting there, but how blessed are they that they were able to build their foundation on a solid friendship and more than a few beers. Bill, your inner light shines just as bright as Allie's. From the minute we met at Avenue Tavern over five years ago, I knew you two would be a forever pair. I've never seen Allie or happier than when she's with you. Your selflessness, generosity, great sense of humor, your determination and your caring nature make her a perfect compliment to you. You truly are a perfect pair. I know that there are people in this room that have known Bill longer than I have, but I love Bill. Bill's my brother, and now you are my sister. 